long and sticky tongues, sharp and deadly claws. Ardvark versus Giant Anteater. It is time for another weird but epic battle. I am Mario and this is Animal Battle. In this episode of Animal Battle, we will compare the artwork and the giant anteater based on the six characteristics that are agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus heal and survival. You might be surprised how deadly one of our competitors is. At the end of the video, you'll get to vote for the winner in the comments and find out who won the previous battle between the giant panda and the spectacled bear. Before we start, I need to clarify something. Even though these animals are very similar in a lot of ways, they are not closely related at all. The giant anteater can be found in South America, being a close relative to sloths and armadillos. The aardvark lives in Africa, and it is the only member of its order. Now that you know that, we can go right to their agility. The Ardvar can reach a nice speed of 40 km per hour, which is quite useful for getting away from the many predators in the African savanna. It is also known to be a good swimmer even in strong currents. The giant anteater has a low metabolic rate, so it will usually walk slowly on its front knuckles, just like gorillas, to keep its claws out of the way while walking. Still, if it is chased by a predator, it will actually be able to gallop at over 48 km per hour. It is also a good swimmer, capable of moving through wide rivers, and can even climb trees or termite mounts. So when it comes to agility, our competitors are... Surprisingly good. The giant anteater being slightly better here, since it is capable of reaching higher speeds and of climbing trees. Let's see if the Ardvark can make a comeback when we will talk about their bonus skills. The Ardvark has a big like snout that is the reason for its keen sense of smell. It also has a good night vision and those long rabbit-like ears grant it an excellent hearing. It also has a 30 cm long tongue that is essential for its diet. But when it comes to tongue length, the anteater is the king with its 60 cm long sticky tongue that can move in and out 3 times per second. The tongue is kept inside its really long snout but also grants the anteater a sense of smell 40 times more sensitive than humans. Furthermore, in order to save energy, the anteater has a really low body temperature for a mammal of only 33 degrees Celsius. When it sleeps, the anteater will cover its body with its long bushy tail to keep itself warm and for camouflage. The artwork still has a really powerful bone skill. It is an amazing digger. And when I say amazing, I mean it, because using its large and powerful claws, the artwork can dig a meter of tunnel in just 5 minutes. It will dig a lot of smaller burrows while foraging or for rest. Its main living burrow is deep and can be 30 meters long with more exits. The old and abandoned burrows are very important for the ecosystem as they will be used by a lot of animals like African wild dogs, porcupines, warthogs, hyenas, pythons, owls and lizards. Wait a minute, are you by any chance not subscribed? You have reached pretty far into the video, so why not give it a like and hit that subscribe button to make Spike happier? Ok, let us see their bone skills. They seem to have pretty high bonus skill stats, the artwork being better here due to its digging abilities. Following the bonus skills are the attack and defense stats. These two animals are surprisingly large. Artworks can reach up to 130 cm in length plus a 70 cm long tail and can weigh up to 80 kg. The giant anteater can reach up to 217 cm in length with its long tail and males can weigh up to 50 kg. So what do these quite large animals hit? Good evening, gentlemen. What do you fancy this time? Is it ants or termites? Yes, both of these animals feed primarily on tiny ants and termites, which isn't as big of a surprise considering the giant anteater's name. Even though ants and termites are small, they are a great source of protein, twice better than steak or chicken. The artwork will have to forage over large territories, using both its incredible sense of smell and hearing to locate its prey. Once it finds a concentration of ants or termites, it digs into it with its powerful front legs while keeping its ears upright to listen for predators. Using its long and sticky tongue, it will take a lot of ants at once, being able to devour over 50,000 of them per night. Ants and termites will try to bite back, but their efforts are in vain due to the artwork's tough skin. The giant anteater has a similar strategy, it will track its prey by its scent. After finding an ant nest or a termite mound, the anteater will break into it with its large claws and will insert its long, sticky tongue to collect its prey. It will spend only one minute feeding at the nest since it is the optimal time for eating the most insects 
and will get out of the nest before the soldier ants or termites will have time to react. In this way, the giant anteater will visit up to 200 nests in one day and will bring terror to thousands of ants and termites, consuming up to 30,000 of them per day. But how do these two animals deal with their predators? The aardvark will encounter a lot of predators in the African savanna, like lions, leopards, cheetahs, African wild dogs, hyenas and pythons. When a predator starts chasing it, the aardvark will dig to escape or will run in a zigzag pattern to the closest burrow. If attacked in a tunnel, it will dig out an exit, blocking the tunnel behind, or, if it chooses to fight, it can roll on its back and attack with its claws. The giant anteater will be primarily preyed upon by jaguars and cougars. It will usually try to run from danger, but, if cornered, it will stand on its hind legs, intimidating the predator with a T-pose. Then it will slash the attacker with its giant claws, that are formidable weapons, capable of killing even a jaguar. Giant anteaters have been known to kill humans that threaten them, so be careful around these seemingly peaceful animals. So let's see their stats. They have pretty good attack and defense stats, the giant anteater being better at defense with its fewer predators and deadly clothes. We will continue to their intelligence stats now. The aardvark and the giant anteater seem to be somewhat smart. The aardvark can be trained by zookeepers, while the giant anteater seems to make a smart decision, spending only one minute at each ant or termite mount, allowing it to recover afterward, so it can have a nice meal again. Still, besides those characteristics, there isn't strong proof that they are particularly intelligent, so their intelligence stats are... Pretty decent. Lastly, we will go to their survival stats, that are very important, since it wouldn't make much sense to have high stats if a species is going extinct. The artwork is quite widespread in Africa, and is listed as a least concerned species. The female will give birth to one cub at a time, which will have a lifespan of up to 23 years in captivity. The giant anteater's population is declining due to habitat loss and hunting, being listed as a vulnerable species. The mother will give birth to a single pup and will carry it on its back. That is actually pretty smart, as it makes the animal seem larger and therefore more intimidating. But with that said, we can see their final stats. As you can see, both of these animals have really good stats overall, and I find it very interesting how they managed to evolve such similar abilities separately. But which of them is the winner? You will decide that, voting in the comments down below, by writing hashtag artwork or hashtag anteater. I will count the votes and will announce the winner in the next episode of Animal Battle. Seems like it is already time to announce the winner of a previous Animal Battle between the giant panda and the spectacled bear. So, after counting all the votes, the winner is... The Spectacle Bear! If you wanted the panda to win, you shouldn't be upset, because here, on Them From Animals, we love and respect all animals. So don't forget to write hashtag artwork or hashtag anteater to vote for this episode's winner. I would also like to thank my patrons for supporting me, and, if you truly love what I'm doing, why not support me on Patreon to fill up that list with your name? Respect Animals!